today we're trying something totally different and we are headed to Nashville, Tennessee. We're going to a rooftop lounge, which I think is about 10 stories up, overlooks like the art district of Nashville. And it's called Camp Bobby. I'm actually really excited about it. It's a vintage pop-up camping experience, rooftop. So it should be fun. I think they have live music. They've got like campfire and this really awesome uh, camping theme with like an, what looks like an Airstream, like a 1970s vintage um, camper up there that you can actually have dinner in, or you can choose these little igloos. It's set up, I think, between like December and late February. If I'm not mistaken, just check their website, but it seems like a really cool experience. Eh? I'm curious. I thought it might not be a good word, but I'm curious. But if it's got good food, then it's good. Yeah. That's all that matters. As you guys know, we're part-time RVers, and so when, you know, we can't get out for spring yet, and it's not exactly camping season, we're always looking for something fun to do. And we live in Southern Kentucky where we're really close to Nashville. So we were just happened, we happened to be looking for like a cool place to go eat one weekend. And this came up and I'm like, this is a neat experience. So we're excited to go check it out. We've got one of our daughters with us. Both were supposed to come actually. It was gonna be a party of four, but our youngest daughter actually got her first job. So she had to be scheduled to work, didn't wanna call off while she you know, just got hired. So we understand that. That's what it's like guys when your kids grow up. I don't think this place is a dress up place by any means. Now, the Bobby Hotel, which Camp Bobby is on top of, might be. <laughs> and if you look it up, the Bobby Hotel looks really cool too. It's probably a place I'd like to stay sometime soon, but. We live so close to Nashville, I'm not sure why we would, but... I was just going to say, yeah, Valerie's going to have a hard time finding the place that dress that I would need to dress up and go to, because mainly I would have to go buy dress-up clothes because I just don't have any. We so. don't really... We don't book things like that or make reservations that require us to go buy an outfit for. Not normally. Right. If we can avoid it. <laughs> Pretty laid back casual people like the rest of you RVers out there. Camp Bobby looks like it's gonna be pretty casual, which we are, so I appreciate that. There is a $200 minimum if you book the igloo for dinner. So that's why I was like, oh, party of four, we can easily do that. But now we're down to a party of three, and I'm thinking, well, worst case, I mean, I can easily, you know, just get a hundred dollar bottle of wine. <laughs> And then the rest is easy, right? I can get a hundred dollar steak over there. You get your bottle of wine, I get my steak, we're all good. Yeah. But, you know, we're not normally like those kind of people that spend that kind of money on a dinner, but for the experience, I think it's gonna be fun. We'll, we'll of course tell you the truth and let you know if it was worth it. Anyway, I was telling Emily, who's going with us, that uh, she's in the backseat, but she's not gonna be a part of this video doesn't want to be and we respect that so you might see bits and pieces of our kids here and there but for the most part this channel is for us anyway she's with us and she said um, I was telling her it's gonna be like a 70s vintage style theme and she, she thought that was cool and said well we're going to Nashville so maybe Fleetwood Mac will be there <laughs> and I was like, well I know Nashville's cool and all but uh, that would be something I don't think we're gonna get that blessed <laughs> That'd be a much harder reservation to get <laughs> yeah yeah, this reservation was pretty easy to book, actually. Right. Especially the weekend after Valentine's Day. I was actually surprised we, we got an opening. Hey, I'll, I'll settle for Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis, right? They'll be there. The 70s show. Yeah. Yeah, if it's 70s theme, they'll be there. Actually, if they, email, if they show is going to be there, I would rather Red be there. Yeah, he's pretty funny. Yeah, he's Vote for red. Vote for red. We're voting for red. Looking forward to that $100 bottle of wine. And since he's my DD and she's underage, looks like I'm going to be the one having all the fun tonight. <laughs> this video is going to get fun.
look how adorable this is. You can come out here and sit. Wow, this is so neat. Okay, this is our igloo. I honestly thought it'd be more like a table, but it's these little chairs that honestly look cold and hard, right? They are hard. Okay, but this looks cozy and soft, so me and Em will sit there. But there's a heater, yeah. and there's lights, so when the sun goes down, that should be fun. There's the AT&T building over there to the left, tip top of it. my lips <laughs> I'm a little bit disappointed because I mean this is just not the same <laughs> I got something better at home it's called a solo stove Mesa XL but we'll go over to the campfire in a minute maybe that'll be better now we're going places that's good it's more there we go what's up yeah Fire right here. Now this is a better option to make your s'mores at. So get it while there's nobody sitting here. They're closed. They've almost got the camping vibe down. This right here is it. Well, our evening is coming to a short end. What did you think overall? Um, I was expecting dinner. I was expecting dinner too. Not bar food. Yeah. And we had just not, well, it was good, but it was like finger foods. And so, yeah. And $200 worth of bar snacks is, for three people, is kind of expensive. Yeah. So, two things. I really think this is a perfect place to come to if you're a group of people. Which, you know, if a group of RVers want to come have a good time, perfect. But I really think the second thing is it's more of a, it's a hotel rooftop lounge. So it's, you well, know, was it like a camping experience? No. no. Um, but their setup was really awesome. I actually enjoyed it. Like it was cute. Yeah, it was good. It um, was entertaining. In Nashville, and the food scene should be entertaining. And, you know, if you come down here and eat dinner on a Saturday night, you'll bound to see the people are entertaining on Super as well. <laughs> yeah. So. Well, we had a good time, and I was really glad we brought our daughter Emily. It really made it fun for us tonight. So. Thanks for coming, Em. 
Yeah. <laughs> we thought it was fun. Thought our the RV community might enjoy it, get entertained by it, or you know, want to book it if you're coming to Nashville. It was actually a fun little place to to check out. We had a lot of fun at Camp Bobby, but we couldn't talk to you guys on the in the igloo because there was so much music. It was good music. It was just a lot of music, and it was loud. And the only time that we could really even try to talk because of YouTube and their stupid copyright rules <laughs> was between between songs. Yeah. And that was like maybe what 15 seconds. They would like end the song, and we would like get the camera out and like turn it on, and like here comes. Pink Floyd, and, <laughs> right. which was fine. I like Pink yeah. Floyd. So we weren't really able to talk to you guys while we were there, but um, we did want to say it was a good experience. Now, all this food, two hundred dollars worth of, of, you know, you know, finger bites. What do you call them? Bar food. Yeah, we had to order some to go to meet our two hundred dollar minimum, which is fine because our other daughter couldn't come, and so. That's okay. We got burgers for lunch and warm. some things for dinner too. So, worked out, honestly. Where are you going to put all these? <laughs> Just open a door and throw them. But we thought it was going to be more of a dinner. Yeah, yeah. I went with it. I was like, all right, $200 minimum. Three of us. I'll get a steak. Valerie will probably get like the salmon or, or some sort of seafood. A glass of wine. And about the bottle of wine, there was no bottle of wine. It was all cocktails, which was fine because their cocktails were good. But I was thinking like, oh, that'll take up a chunk of the minimum. But no, no. it didn't. So it was a different experience. We thought there'd be like a table and like a sit down dinner. Because we have experienced the igloo experience. That's a lot of ways to say experience <laughs> in Park City, Utah. But at that dinner, like, you know, you got to order, you know, off the menu, but an actual meal. And then I think there was a, there's always like a minimum when you like rent the special mm, igloo mm. thing or whatever, fine. Drinks cover it, appetizers, dessert. You can reach it with a, a party of four or six, no problem. But um, in this case, it was finger appetizers, not necessarily a meal, but lots of cocktails. We feel like we had to order everything on the menu to it's make good, it happen. Yeah, I mean, we did. <laughs> so, and so we got, um, of course, I got the poppers because they, they sounded good. And we did like the brisket, the brisket nachos, the sliders. Yep, I had the little pigs in a blanket with the mustard sauce. It was really good. The dry rub chicken yeah, legs. Yeah, the dry rub chicken wings were good. They weren't mm -hmm. as messy as like a saucy chicken wing. So it was like a group setting, get together type experience. I really think that two things, if it was more of a group setting, no problem, you can reach the minimum. And it was more of a social gathering than maybe like a sit down dinner. Yeah, but, I think we were expecting a sit down dinner and this was like the more the merrier type thing. Yeah, so even like you RVers out there, if you met with a group of other RVers in Nashville, maybe you're camping in the same area and you wanna go out to a nice dinner, this is actually a neat experience for that. Mm. I think that would be fun. Um, was it a total camping experience? Well, no, it, it, it was no. no, it was like a rooftop hotel Bar. lounge. Yeah. But, you know, they said that, you know, with, if you go and you're, and you're expecting to book this experience, you know, they're, they're getting ready to take it down and turn it back into a pool lounge. Yeah, that's right. So this is only up from like, I think he said November, December, December to end of February. Mm -hmm. And so it's like a winter theme, which is fun. But then it turns into the, the pool on the top of the hotel with yeah. cabanas and chairs. and that. It was a cool experience. Mm -hmm. And we had a lot of fun with our daughter. So it was some really good quality time with her. Matter of fact, um, she said we could share this picture of her with the guitar in the lobby. Hotel Bobby is what it's called. It's actually a pretty cool hotel. It seems like it's a little more modern, but I mean, if you're looking for a, just a, a super convenient downtown place to stay in a kind of a neat hotel, just from the lobby, it seemed pretty cool. My arm started holding the camera. You hold it. Okay. Thank you. Give my arm a break. <laughs> This is my bad arm, so let's not dilly dally. Oh, your poor bad arm. You know, it, would I go back? Would I go back and do it again? I'm gonna say for the money, no. I would rather just go to a nicer restaurant and eat better. I don't know. If I'd go back unless I went with some friends. Yeah, I guess you're right because it wasn't like a full meal. I think that's why. If you could order a full meal, would you do it again? Prop. I don't know because I mean they didn't really have tables and stuff. So if it was like a igloo with like a with a, a table. 
if it was if it was completely different in an igloo like it is, then yeah, maybe I would go. Because <laughs> that's what we're saying. Uh, would you go back again? <laughs> yes, if it was not anything like it is, and it was like the one in Park City or wherever that was, yes. then we would go. But if you're asking me to go to the one in Nashville, then probably not. Fair enough. If it was a table setting, I would go. <laughs> if it had real food, table setting, and you know, blah, you know, again. Or, <laughs> or if we got invited with some other RV friends, we would go for the drinks. <laughs> You're cracking me up. I will say, I will say, if you are raise that, raise that tired or not. <laughs> it's your turn. No. Hold the damn camera. It's your turn. Last thing is the fun. The fun part there was they had an old school um, photo booth. You know, you swipe your card for six bucks and it takes the little, you know, strip of, of fun little photo shots. So we did, get, we did get to do that with our daughter and with each other. So we hope you enjoy those shots and we hope that video was entertaining, if anything. <laughs> if you never go to Camp Bobby, fine, but. I would go back to Camp Bobby if it wasn't like Camp Bobby. So <laughs> that, that is what we have decided tonight. If you got anything out of this video, I would go. If it's not like that and if you're in the area and you want to have drinks, Maybe we'll go with you and have fun. We will definitely go with you and have fun. We're all about a good time. And the camping community is about having a good time. Mm. Their fire was good. You just didn't bring your coat and therefore you ruined the experience. It's because you <laughs> sat out there for 45 minutes. It was good. So, I, it was 30 degrees. I was comfortable. I brought my jacket. And she had her Antarctic prepared. parka on. Yeah, it was comfortable. I'm not right. a sissy like he is. I guess. I guess. All right, guys. See you on our next adventure. See you guys.